The city of Barcelona comprises 10 districts, and with Ciutat Vella and the Aixample being districts 1 and 2 respectively, the rest, districts 3 to 10, are numbered from left to right in an arc round the city centre. Ciutat Vella means Old City in Catalan, and covers what was once the original medieval walled city of Barcelona. Not surprisingly, Ciutat Vella is District 1. Made up of the old neighbourhoods of Barri Gothic, El Raval, San Pera Santa Catarina y la Ribera, and La Barceloneta, this is where you're likely to spend most of your time as a tourist. The Ramblas, the Gothic quarter around Plaza San Jaume and the Cathedral, and the Port of Barcelona are particular attractions. The other city centre district is the Eixample, which means extension or enlargement and was built in the late 19th century when the medieval walls were knocked down. This is where you'll find the highest concentration of magnificent modernist buildings by Antoni Gaudí and his contemporaries. Make sure not to miss the fabulous Passage de Gracia and Gaudí's extraordinary expiatory temple of La Sagrada Familia. District 3 is Sants Montjuic, which can be broadly divided into three areas. The commercial port and Zona Franca, the mountain of Montjuic, and the old industrial town of Sants. You're bound to spend time visiting the museums and castle on Montjuic, as well as the Olympic Ring. I also really like Sants itself, and it's a likely stop as the neighbourhood is home to Barcelona's main railway station, Barcelona Sants. District number four is Las Cortes which starts at Plaza Frances Macià and straddles Avenue de Diagonal as it makes its way south. The neighbourhood of Las Cortes itself has little to distinguish it. Pedralbes, with its fine monastery, is home to Barcelona's super-rich, but I'm a regular visitor to San Ramon y la Maternitat, where I go to watch FC Barcelona in their fabulous Camp Nou. Saria San Gervasi is not only uptown Barcelona in geographical terms, but is also home to a very well-heeled kind of Barcelona. The San Gervasi neighbourhoods have some very pleasant corners. Saria still retains a village feel, and make sure you go up to Tibidabo, where you get the best panoramic views of the whole city. Gracia District 6 is another district that stretches up into the Coiserola Hills. The park closest to town is the old Vila of Gracia, which like many of the other districts only became part of Barcelona in 1897. It retains a very strong sense of identity and its beautiful squares are great for sitting out in during the summer, when Gracia hosts the city's best Festa Major. Make sure not to miss Gaudi's amazing parkway. District 7, or the Guinardon, is based around Guinardon with the marvellous modernista Hospital de San Pau by Luis Domenici Montaner, close to town, and the old hill village of Horta. It's also worth mentioning mainly Spanish-speaking El Carmel. My favourite part is the centre of Horta itself, with its lazy atmosphere and its working-class bars and lovely squares. It's also worth exploring the area above the main hospital of the Bay de Bron, where by striking out from San Genis dels Agudés, you can find some of the nicest spots in the Parc de Coixerola. No Barris means nine neighbourhoods in Catalan, but there are actually 13 in sprawling District 8. This is where Spanish-speaking immigrants came in the 50s and 60s, and they've continued to arrive from other continents since then. Once part of the old municipality of Sant Andreu de Palmar, no Barris is the district a tourist is least likely to visit. I can assure you though, it is not without its delight. Sant Andreu, District 9, is for me the best of Barcelona. Plaza Orfila, Granda Sant Andreu, Rambla Fabri Puig and El Parc de Pegaso are gentle high points of what was once a separate town that still retains its identity. 
it's no surprise that the hit Catalan soap opera, El Cor de la Ciutat, the heart of the city, was filmed here. San Martí is District 10, and is probably the district that has undergone most changes in the time I've been here, and all this began with the 1992 Olympics. The wonderful Rambla de Pablo No now leads down to some of the best beaches on the Mediterranean, rather than the backs of old factories. In the last decade, the 22A innovation area, which spreads out from Plaza de las Glorias, is bringing cutting-edge technology to the district with such a strong industrial past. So here you have it. Ten districts, but many more than just ten Barcelonas.